Initially, I did not want to share the information in this video, only later to feel compelled to do so. After arriving to donate my blood, the nurse took my temperature, pulse, blood pressure, and iron and hemoglobin counts. She stated that before my blood is donated, it would be tested for cholesterol, HIV, blood type, and COVID-19. She looked on her computer and said, you've donated once before. Oh, wow. We love to get people like you in because you have very rare blood. To which I responded, is that good or bad? To which she responded, only 1.5% of the global population has your blood type. She then handed me a letter and in big letters at the top, it had B negative. I did not say anything else, but when I got home, I researched what it all meant. Never did I imagine that donating my blood would change my life forever. But thankfully, it also answered many questions as to occurrences in my life. This is my story. No, no, but do it. Okay. Before I... Ooh. Just look away, okay? Just let the camera okay. roll. Uh, Alright. Okay. Just look away, okay? Alright. Mommy. Ah! Ah! Shit. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, man, I feel that. You gotta stand there all the time? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh my shit. That's a... Well, okay. Alright. Okay. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. That is it. Okay. All you gotta do is just okay. And here's a photo of my blood as it was being drained from my body. This is all the blood they took that day. It's a lot. One pint to be exact. Okay, so my, uh, you said it will go. My blood type is. Uh, B negative. I know, but so, you said it's rare. Uh, it is pretty rare. Anything negative. Uh, 10 percent population also if by any chance you have uh, baby's blood what that means is you don't have the cmb virus oh no i don't have that virus yeah i mean no, we get that from the environment it's pretty oh. normal but we do test it and see if you have it or not and if i don't if it don't it goes uh, straight to like uh, infants babies that needs blood my blood will go there first. Well, that's good. I'm yes. glad I'm doing it for the little teeny oh, yeah. babies. Oh, of course. Wow. Um, but it's ten percent negative. But from my research, oh, there's more O negative people than B negative, and I'm B negative, and yeah, the right. B negative is only one point five to two percent of right. the population. So O negative would probably, I would say, eight to ten, uh, eight to ten percent. I would say. Okay. And so, what what is, what is your title? Uh, phlebotomist. Like we stick people, we yes. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. How often do you get told that someone just can't figure you out? If you're Rh negative, probably pretty often. This can often make others distrust you, or sometimes they might think even you think you're too nice and therefore you must be hiding something. However, you attract lovers, unwanted attention, and stalkers like no one else you have ever known. There is just something about you. You're mysterious and your peers either love it or hate it. When I speak of RH negative, remember, it includes A negative, B negative, O negative, and AB negative. The term RH refers to the rhesus factor, which was first discovered in the blood of the rhesus monkey. Go see him, Lauren. You want to give him your drink? Hey, did he steal your drink? Hey.
He's all your dream. the rhesus gene are called Rh negative. The rhesus factor was discovered by Carl Landsteiner in 1937, 37 years after he discovered the major A, B, O blood groups. The positive or negative sign next to the blood group is known as the rhesus factor. The Rh factor is a protein that can be found on the surface of red blood cells. Rh positive is the most common blood type, but having an Rh negative type does not indicate illness and usually doesn't affect your health. A person with Rh positive blood can only donate to someone with Rh positive blood. While humans are thought to all share a common ancestor originating in Sub-Saharan Africa, the number of Rh negative Africans is disproportionately low and is approximately only 3%. In Asia, the Rh negative blood type is even less and only approximately 1%. The gene that produces Rh negative is largely present in Caucasians. Although about 85% of all humans have Rh positive blood, all royal families have Rh negative blood, including King Charles, his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Harry, etc. Because most are interested in entertainment rather than education, I'm going to post the celebrities that are Rh negative here. And having the rarest blood on the planet in the four blood groups is former President Barack Obama, Marilyn Monroe, Meryl Streep, Michael Bolton, Mick Jagger, Cindy Lauper. And coming up in having the second rarest blood on the planet in the four blood groups is Bob Marley, Mia Farrow, Jack Nicholson, Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, Julia Roberts, Susan Sarandon, yours truly, Dawn Martin. <laughs> Having the third rarest Rh negative blood is Ringo Starr and Angelina Jolie. In the O negative category is King Charles, his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince William, Jimi Hendrix, 
John Lennon, Paul Newman, and of Basque ancestry, Regis Philibin. Blood is made of red and white blood cells, as well as platelets, which are present in liquid plasma. Your blood contains antibodies and antigens that tell what your blood type is. Antigens cover red blood cells and help determine blood type. People who have negative blood type are often called as those that have the most precious blood on the planet. Since this is a very rare blood type, for people in need, this can mean that getting the right amount of blood on time can be a difficult process and can involve a serious network of doctors and other health professionals all over the world. Millions of people all over the world have benefited from blood transfusions. Reasons for blood transfusions can vary. It can be a burn, cancer, lots of different diseases. It also includes traumas, accidents, and so on. Still, transfusion is life-saving only when done properly and on time. That's why hospitals must always ensure that the blood types of the donor and those who are receiving the blood are compatible. So, if you're not sure about your blood type, make sure you check it, just in case of an emergency. Because if you don't know your blood type, you will be given O negative blood. Because few people have B negative blood type, this rare blood is not needed very often. However, without having a proper network, it can be a race against time to getting B negative blood to the patient in crisis. Antibodies aid in our protection by alerting your immune system to kill infections and foreign bodies. Because we all have antigens in our blood, only blood with the same antigens as ours may be used in transfusions, and these are represented by the four blood groups, O, A, B, and AB. Each of the four blood types can be RH positive or RH negative in addition to having antibodies and antigens. The RH factor in blood is named after the rhesus monkey. which like all other primates, only contains the positive factor, the mystery of RH negative blood. Positive blood can be cloned. However, negative blood cannot be cloned, which is quite interesting and may be indicative of an alien origin or more probable from early genetic experimentation during previous advanced human civilization. The origin of RH negative blood is still unknown. Why blood type matters? Some say blood is intimately integrated with life force, which explains the feeling you get when working with people that have your same blood type. In Japan, it's common for people to ask what your blood type is rather than what your astrological sign is. If you have type B blood mixed with type A blood during a transfusion, your antibodies will destroy blood cells with the A antigens. This can have life-threatening results, which is why medical centers worldwide have strict procedures to keep this from happening. Theory number one, some scientists believe that RH negative blood is simply a mutation that came about at some unknown time in our evolution. However, evidence currently points towards little more than ordinary mutation. Theory number two, a solid alternative case may be extended to the conclusion that RH negative is not a mutation, but possibly 
the original human blood group. That there was a group of, quote, pure humans not directly related to the evolutionary process on Earth. This reasoning would suggest that the original humans on our planet were not directly related to apes, but at some point were made or genetically engineered to give such an impression. If RH negative people are a mutation, what caused the mutation? Why does it continue with the exact characteristics? Why does it so violently reject the RH factor if it was their own ancestry? Who was their ancestor? Theory number three, the RH negative blood type, also called the blood of the gods, is associated with Nephilim's lineage and that the Nephilim of biblical lore is responsible for RH negative blood types. In the Book of Enoch, the Nephilim, also known as the Watchers, descended from the heavens and made it with humans, creating a human angel hybrid. This group of angels and their offspring were wiped out in the great biblical deluge. Though some were said to have survived, leaving the RH negative blood distinction. Theory number four, others speculate RH negative blood may have come from an alien species that interbred with humans or engineered us in some way, producing a hybrid bloodline. Researchers have also discovered a significant percentage of RH negative blood type among persons who claim to have been contacted directly or indirectly by extraterrestrial visitors. which some experts feel is more of an indication that this blood type may have alien origins. Theory five, in the case of B-negative blood, some researchers have suggested it may be a remnant of an ancient genetic lineage that predates the emergence of modern humans. Others have proposed that it may have evolved as a result of environmental factors such as disease or diet. While there is still much to be learned about the origins of B-negative blood, scientists are actively working to uncover new information and deepen our understanding of this fascinating aspect of human biology. According to the theory of evolution, humans and apes have the same origin, and hence our blood should have evolved in the same way. Rh-positive blood can be found in all primate species while RH negative blood cannot be discovered in the wild. Humans are the only living things on earth with RH negative blood type. This raises the question of whether RH negative blood is of alien origin or a result of a random mutation that occurred at some unknown period in human evolution. Before I go any further, it's crucial to talk about blood racism. Blood racism is when someone of a certain blood type either imagines they are superior or inferior to those of another blood type. No one can help the way they were born. I repeat, no one can help the way they were born. Because you don't like some or all of the information provided here about the different blood groups doesn't mean it's a personal attack on you. The truth can only hurt if you refuse to accept it. Acceptance is the key to finding inner peace. We should be free to talk about the origins of our ancestors without people getting so upset. Now here's some interesting facts about B negative blood type. People from this blood group are better at physical activities than other blood types. 
Type B negative blood can be transfused to both B negative and B positive and AB negative and AB positive blood types. A patient with type B negative blood may receive a transfusion only from O negative and B negative donors. B negative blood is very important because it's the rarest singularly defined blood type in the world and only about 1.5% of the population has it. B negative blood type is the second rarest globally as it's second to AB negative, which is the rarest of the blood groups. In a population of 1 million, it's estimated that only 15,000 people would have B negative blood type. B negative donors are immensely important to life saving work. B negative donors are always needed. B negative blood is present in only 2% of Caucasians, 1% of Hispanics, 1% of African Americans, and 0.4% of Asians. B negative characteristics, highly intuitive, not patient with nonsense, compassionate and empathetic, free spirits, interested in what we don't know rather than bragging about what we do know, restless when confronted with seeing what others don't. We're very good with children and animals who sense our true nature. Health and emotional issues stem from living in a society that isn't for us, whether it's poison from environment, food, medicine, or toxic vibes. We have a natural sense of what's right and wrong, unable to overlook what makes us uncomfortable, always looking for better and more efficient ways to do things. RH negative facts. Now remember, when I speak of RH negative, I'm speaking of O negative, B negative, a negative and OB negative. O negative blood contains no antigens. Almost anyone with any blood type can receive O negative blood. A person with group O negative blood is a universal donor. There is a high demand for O negative blood, even though fewer than 10% of the U.S. population has O negative blood. RH negative blood types. Remember, again, when I speak of RH negative blood type, I'm speaking of O negative, A negative, B negative, and AB negative. RH negative blood type personality traits. We prefer facts over opinions. RH negatives tend to clash with those who treat opinions as fact because our goal is to seek out authentic truth, not a perceived reality. We feel separate from others. We RH negatives personality traits often feel like we live on our own island, even if we're surrounded by people. When we're with others, we feel like we stand out. We struggle to form friendships. People who have RH negative blood find it difficult to form friendships. Lying is a big turnoff. We're the smartest people we know. <laughs> we RH negative blood types intelligence often comes across as being rude, arrogant, or cocky to others who don't understand us. Compared to other personality profiles, RH negative individuals tend to have the highest IQ levels, excel in school, and do well following entrepreneurial ventures. Others see people with RH negatives as being intensely trustworthy. People with RH negative personality traits will often experience unusual events, such as vivid dreams that feel like an alternative form of reality. We experience emotions of others. People with RH negative personality traits have a high emotional IQ, in addition to their overall higher intelligence. When we encounter other people, we can sense and experience their emotional state. We have one major phobia. We tend to be easily frightened, 
This happens because we're constantly going through every possible scenario which may happen during common daily events. This often leads to one major phobia with a fear of heights and a fear of flying, the two most common. Anything that puts life out of our own personal control becomes something that could become a phobia one day. Depression is quite common with RH negatives. We're comfortable in isolation. We RH negatives tend to prefer isolation more than companionship. Most of us will form a deep bond with a spouse, lighter bonds with certain friends, then brush off random acquaintances. We're just as comfortable finding things to do alone as we are spending time with people we trust. RH negative characteristics. We can be extremely outgoing and driven when in the right place, time, and energy. When others decide to depend on us, except children, we get irritated. People asking us questions make us question their intentions. We detect intentions in others. A feeling of not belonging. Stunning blue, green, or hazel eyes. Heightened senses of sight, hearing, vision, and smell than those who are RH positive. More empathetic than others. Truth seekers. Sense of a mission in life. Higher than average IQ. Psychic ability, lower body temperature, higher blood pressure. Some say lower. Either way, it's one extreme to another. Red or reddish brown hair. We're often underestimated or overestimated. We're not easy to shop for. Little things can make a huge difference for us. Big things are often meaningless to us. People are often jealous of us. People are often threatened by us. When we feel bad, we tend to feel really bad. We're either very interested or not at all. We don't feel the need to form beliefs or opinions. An enormous sense and obligation of responsibility. We hate loud sounds. We can feel very uneasy in crowds. Many RH negative people have big eyes. RH negative children often feel uneasy in school and are not good at following orders blindly. We tend to worry about things most people do not worry about. We deeply appreciate oceans and high supplies of oxygen in general. We feel for animals and other human beings, even if their actions are not inviting empathy. Pregnancy. Whether or not you're RH positive or RH negative could have an impact on your pregnancy. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, problems can occur when a woman is RH negative and her fetus is RH positive, as this can result in something called RH incompatibility. If the blood of an RH positive fetus gets into the bloodstream of an RH negative woman, her body will understand it's not her blood and will fight it by making anti-RH antibodies. These antibodies can cross the placenta and try to destroy the fetus's blood. This reaction can lead to serious health problems and even death in a fetus or newborn. That's why in most cases, when a woman with RH negative blood type is pregnant, it's very likely that she will receive the Rogan injection which is a shot that contains antibodies from plasma donors to stop her body from forming RH antibodies to kill her fetus. And why is it that an RH negative mother carrying an RH positive child tries rejecting her own offspring? Is it possible that this can be explained in a theory which suggests that humanity isn't in fact one race, but a hybrid species? Don't forget to subscribe, and if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button.